Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is about the GTX 1080 and we're going to combine the videos or the results from our video of the 1070 and the RX 480 into this video. Uh, this is to help you decide which one's best for you. And there's no denying that the Pascal series of reference coolers are just amazing. Uh, NVIDIA's done such an awesome job in the overall aesthetic. Uh, they look really, really good in a, inside your PC. Um, the 1070 and the 1080 do look the same. Uh, identical 8 pin connectors on both uh, going on to the port side of uh, things uh, the 1080 and the 1070 are identical they both they all have uh, three display port 1.4s HDMI 2.0 B and for you old school people dual link DVI's just a quick look at some specs I'm only going to cover the 1080 if you want to look at all of them together you can just pause the video 9 teraflops 8 gigabyte of GDDR5X that's the main difference between the 1080 and the 1070 256 bit bus for the memory uh, 2560 CUDA cores 180 watt TDP and as we covered the single 8 pin power connector Quick look at the pricing uh, for this is for the reference card 699 US for the 1080, 489 US for the 1070, and 239 US for the Radon RX 480. Okay, running some synthetic benchmarks. Uh, these were all in Windows 10 Pro Luxmark 2.1, the Sala scene, 1080 scores 4010, Luxmark 3, the Luxball scene. Uh, 1080 scored 17,180. Uh, Cinebench R15 the OpenGL test. Uh, we had the RX 480 actually edge out the 1080 here. Um, 155 20 frames per second for the 1080 and 168.12 uh, for the 480. Uh, CompuBench we in the video composition. Uh, 1080 scored 144.89 frames. A GPU test, uh, we ran the Testmark X64 OpenGL 4.5, 1080p at 4MSA, and the 1080 absolutely smashed it at 27,417. Okay, now onto the real world. Uh, once again, Windows 10 Pro, DaVinci Resolve 4K timeline. It was ProRes LT 4K footage. All three cards uh, can achieve a 25 frames per second uh, frame rate there. Um, DaVinci Resolve once again. We took a two minute red 4K file. Uh, we graded it effects and we exported it into a 1080p. The 1080 done it in 30 seconds flat. Uh, Premiere Pro, same footage, uh, this time it was a ProRes uh, and we exported it to a YouTube 4K file and the 1080 done it in 3 minutes flat. Um, in Photoshop, it was an 8K 20 megapixel image. Uh, we have an action that has blurs and image scaling which is also uh, OpenCL based and the 1080 there done it in 50 seconds flat. Um, and then lastly in DaVinci Resolve, we graded and affected and we exported a 7 minutes of red 6K footage and we exported at uh, H264 4K and the 1080 here uh, done it in 9 minutes and 30 seconds and then the other two cards lagging behind. Okay, DaVinci Resolve in the node test, uh, 4K ProRes footage, 1080p timeline. Uh, we had obviously playback at 25 frames and then at uh, all the way up to 40 blue nodes uh, the 1080 could do at full frame rates of 25 um, and then we just saw at 60 blur nodes the 1080 drop off to 17 frames per second by far the most powerful single performing card at the moment okay lastly in davinci resolve in the node test um, two tnr nodes we had the 1080 do it in 25 frames at four tnr nodes it sustained 18 frames per second and at 6 TNR nodes it was doing 13 frames per second. Okay thanks for watching. Uh, clear winner is the GDX 1080 which was uh, expected but hopefully this video helped you decide on which one to buy. Uh, the RX 480 you must remember you know it, it's a third of the price so still keeping up there uh, in regards to performance um, to dollar I guess if that's how you want to look at it. If you liked what we've done please thumbs up or even subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching until next time.